much. It's been so long since I've seen you. Yes, yesterday is a long time. It's been it's ridiculous. I'm not sure I could go an hour without you. And I mean, yesterday I took this math test with Elena, and then I made a face on a cake, and then on my heart, I just my heart. I just love you so much. And, I'm and breaking up with you. What? You are the most annoying and self-absorbed person I have ever met. I cannot take dating you anymore. I don't want to torture myself anymore. All you do is bake cakes and gossip with your friends and cheat on tests and make hearts. I'm tired of it. I can't take it. It's... <sighs> Until now, none of the discussions of work has mentioned the time it takes to move an object. The work done by a person lifting a box of books is the same whether the box is lifted onto a shelf in two seconds or each book is lifted separately so that it takes 20 minutes to put them all on the shelf. Although the work done is the same, the rate at which it is done is different. Power is the work done divided by the time taken to do the work. In other words, power is the rate at which this external force changes the energy of the system. It is represented by the following equation. Power P equals W over T. Hey, 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 Chan. Where are you going? Guys, please don't do this. I can't be late to class again. Well, Champ, there's something we need to discuss. Yeah, some important things to discuss. Your last donation to our club was pretty light. Yeah, man. How will the Not Get Brian's Face Destroy Club maintain with such weak donations? Guys, I, I don't have time for this. I. You better have money tomorrow! Wait a minute, running in the hallways and late to my class? I don't think so. But, but the bell hasn't even rung. Uh, you know, you really are late, and this is not the first time that this has happened. I don't want to hear any more excuses. I'm only late because I keep getting harassed by those frickin' bullies. Enough excuses, Brian. I think I need to go back into my classroom and deal with students who actually care about learning. You sit outside and think about what you've done. Who wants cookies? Yeah! kidding me. Today in class we're going to continue the discussion on the great Gatsby. Nick and Gatsby riding into New York in Gatsby's car. Gatsby's trying to clear up some of the uh, uh, rumors that are flying around about him and Nick is uh, uh, kind of... Will uh, you please be quiet? Audience. Hey Brian! Come up here and take my place, or you just want to shut your face. Now let's get back to the lecture at hand. I hope you all just understand. We're back to the lecture at hand. We're talking about Gatsby. Hey, Brian. All right, students, hand in your papers. Oh, God. Brian, is that your paper? Uh, oh, uh, uh, no. No, it is not. Look, Mr. Green, I've been having a horrible day. 
And I don't really have a good excuse as to why I don't have my paper, but is there any chance I could turn it in tomorrow? Well, I guess I'll let it pass this time since you're such a good student. I'm going to have to take off some points because it was late. Oh, thank you, Mr. Green. All right, I'm going to go home now. At least my day wasn't completely horrible. Hey! Stay cold, point boy. Um, okay. <laughs>